Hi, I'm Stan DeFritis, Mr. Green Thumb. How do you self-pollinate tomato plants? You know, a lot of people grow tomatoes and they grow them in, let's say, a screened-in area where you don't get good pollination. If you don't get good pollination, well, you don't always get good results. Now, tomatoes can kind of pollinate just from a little bit of movement and wind, but in a protected area, they may not get that. Now, usually, I would take like a paint-by-numbers brush, but in this case, I'm just going to take like a little pair of scissors and what we basically would do would be to touch from one part of the flower, the male part, which is on the outer edge, to the, to the female part of the flower, usually it's the anther. We have the anthers, the male part, and we're going to fit it to the stigma, which is the center part of the flower. We touch from the male part to the beginning of the other part. And we're actually helping to self-pollinate the plant. Now normally, bees and butterflies and other insects do this marvelous job for us. But if you've got your plant in an area where it doesn't get much insect activity, and many people like that because they don't want that big caterpillar getting on there either, they may want to self-pollinate. Remember, a little paint-by-numbers brush or a little toothbrush, um, touch from one flower part to the next, just kind of like the bee does. You don't have to put on the big wings, but you will get pollination. If you get pollination, you should get fruit. For AskMrGreenThumb.com, I'm Stan DeFritis.